Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, and praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, today is just going to be a quick uh, little exhortation of something I've been noticing uh, driving to work recently. And I tried to get it on video, but <laughs> hey, this chariot it has been very slippery, but I've got a picture of it. All right. And I've been noticing the past couple of days driving that the chariot would be on one side of the road, then it shift to come over, it'll get bigger, it'll get smaller, it'll turn up his light, it'll dim his light. And it all got me thinking of a particular scripture because uh, we must know that as we come into these perilous times, that uh, the angels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are always watching us. All right. Special, especially. The ones that have uh, uh, much faith, okay? They're always watching us. So I want to pull a couple scriptures dealing with that, and that'll pretty much be it. But uh, like I said, the times we're coming into, uh, we must know that uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, has many forces uh, in this world uh, to do us good, even when the left hand side, the evil, the wickedness, uh, will try to take us. This is the book of Second Kings, chapter six and uh, fifteen. Now you can go back and read uh, read this account, which is a beautiful account. But I'm trying to really narrow it down to the point, dealing with Elisha. All right. It says, uh, and when the servant of, servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host. Uh, compassed the city both with horses and chariots so that hosts meaning army had surrounded the city where uh, uh, Elisha and his man was staying and his servant said unto him alas my master how shall we do so he was worried he was upset he was like man they got us we surrounded and let's see what happened next verse 16 and he answered fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them so that's a scripture that I thought about uh, when I was seeing this chariot uh, driving on the way to work. Uh, because sometimes uh, in this truth, it feels like some, the whole world is meant to be against you, which it really is. But when you consider uh, the heavenly father and his angels and the, uh, the heavenly hosts, which he uh, possesses and commands, uh, this is a true statement that there'd be more with us than be with them. So we all know at the end of the story that good is going to overcome uh, the evil. So trust and believe, like I said, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has those spirits, those angels uh, watching guard over us. All right. Especially uh, the, the elect. It says, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes and the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Right. So, and I've seen this actually personally. I've seen chariots basically cloak and uncloak, meaning become visible. All right. Become visible and then go invisible. All right. So <laughs> and that's a hell of a sight to see for certain brothers that have seen that. So that's just a test, a uh, short testimony from me dealing with these uh, chariots. And uh, the, basically the watchdogs, the heavenly hosts of uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And let's go to another scripture. Let's get this right here. Matthew 26 and 52. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his, his place, for all they which take the sword shall perish with the sword. And now, now to give it context, of course, go back and read Matthew 26 is when they were coming to take the Messiah, take the Lord. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, who was with him? They cut off the ear of the, uh, of the priest, I believe. Which what Yahushua shook his hand and drew his sword and stuck his 
Yeah, they drew, they, they they struck off the ear of the servant of the high priest. Right, one of the men that was with Yahweh Shai. Now let me read uh, verse 53. It says, Thinkest thou, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels, right? And that's a. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back into the uh, a word for a legion because I didn't forget the the amount. But he can bring a lot of chariots to show up on command and on, on the scene to basically deal with what he wants to deal with, right? Verse fifty four, verse fifty four. But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? And thus it must be, right? So at any time, Yahweh Shai could have took down the Romans, took down those wicked, scoffing Israelites. At any time he can do that now, but everything must and will play out that's on the earth right now. You see? So these uh, prophecies must take place because Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is bound by his word. All right? But trust and believe, uh, like I said, those, those chariots... Those angels are on uh, uh, standby, on watch, and waiting for that that, that go signal, man. And we getting closer and closer uh, till that to 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 that time. So let's see what else I got. Let's get uh, the book of uh, let's get this right here. Psalms thirty four and seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Just like in that uh, story I just touched on from Elisha in Second Kings, uh, those angels are on guard. Those angels are watching, and they work with uh, uh, the hopeful elect, the elect that are on the earth, man. All right, they're here for a purpose, and ultimately they're gonna uh, get down and destroy this place. Okay, that's what we're we're, we're coming to. I'm gonna grab a scripture in uh, the Book of Revelation. So you can uh, see that because when uh, the masses of the population see these chariots for what they are in that time, they're going to fucking lose it, man. They're going to freak out. They ain't going to know what the hell is going on. But the ones of you that uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has gave uh, understanding and gave the gift of faith, you will understand uh, what these uh, chariots mean and what they're here to do. Right. They're here to destroy, and they are also here to protect and deliver. Now, let's get this right here. In Revelation 1 and 8, it says, I am, no, Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, right? And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. So who is the he? Speaking on uh, Yahweh Shai. Same way Yahweh Shai was taken up into a chariot is the same way he's coming back. It explains that in the book of Acts. So when you read this right here in Revelation 1 and 7, it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, meaning clouds, his legions, his angels, his chariots are going to flood the sky. And it's going to uh, create mass hysteria on this earth. It says, and all kindred to the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, ending, saith the Lord Power, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right. Now, uh, let's, let's get one more. Let's get one more. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and 31. It says, what shall we say? What then? What shall we then say, Salakia? What shall we then say to these things? Right? If God be for us, who can be against us? So you got to take that kind of mindset into everything. Right? If we're truly, because if you read up one, it talks about, let me just go ahead, go ahead and get it. Romans 8 and 30. More of whom he did predestinate, predestinate them he also called. And whom he also, uh, whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified right so those of the those elect men those elect uh women right souls these people are going to eventually be glorified with salvation uh in the end but if you are truly part of the elect guess what it's nothing 
uh, in this earth, right, or on the left hand side, that uh, can harm you, because you are truly in the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're truly under the protection of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and that's just something that uh, that should comfort you uh, if you believe this word, if you have faith in this this gospel, knowing that. He is your ultimate uh, protection, right? He is your ultimate uh, protection. So if, if the Most High is for us, who can be against us? And you got to believe that in all things, regardless, regardless of how bleak or, or how uh, uh, impossible the situation may seem. Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai can always find a way for you to beat it or get out of it. All right. But that's pretty much the point. Just want to make it pretty much quick, pretty, pretty quick and get right to the point. I want to give all glory, praises, honors to Yahweh Shai and say shout out to woman next time.